Hi everyone, welcome to week three of Vlogmas. Um, this week was an interesting one. I started off the week knowing that I was going to substitute the entire five days of school, Monday through Friday in second grade, um, because the teacher was sick, and that was great. Um, and knowing that I was going to sub was really terrific as well because on Sunday evening I did a couple of things that made the week easier. Um, one thing that seems to be kind of hard for me to do after working is cleaning our bathrooms, um, which I like to do obviously at least once a week. Um, and so on Sunday night um, I decided that I was going to clean all three of our bathrooms and I also cleaned the birdcage. Um, which really made me feel like I was setting myself up for success this week. Um, and I also did something that I have not done before, which was kind of make a plan uh, for the week so that I would feel um, a little bit more in control of our house while I was busy. So um, what I decided to do was come up with five things that I would do every day that would sort of help me keep the house in order, I guess, basically, and also move me forward a little bit in our Christmas decorating. So the first thing that I wanted to do every day was to tidy one room. And tidying for me means like vacuuming and dusting the room and like making it look neat. So I was mostly able to do that. I would say I probably did that three or four days out of the week aside from Sunday. So Sunday was my big day where I got those bathrooms cleaned. And then I think the only days that I missed was Tuesday and Thursday. And that's mainly because we had basketball on Tuesday and Thursday. Um, the other day that I worked um, on a lot of things was today on Saturday. I got the house really tidied up very well, sort of just going room by room and getting things done. So keeping one room clean each day was uh, my goal and I think it was moderately successful. I definitely think I could have done better. Another thing that I really wanted to do on a daily basis this week was to crack some mosaic stones in half. Um, we had built, um, I think it's been almost a year since it was finished or maybe it has been a year since it was finished. We built a beautiful arch by the entrance of our church and we are hoping in the near future to have mosaics installed on them by our resident iconographer. And um, she's ordered, if not all of the mosaic tiles for it, quite a few. And two colors in particular, there may be more, um, but she only gave me two, needed to have the each mosaic cracked in half. So the size of the mosaic as it came was too big. And that's kind of something that I've had, I've been supposed to have had done <laughs> since maybe October um, and it just did not happen so what I did this week was I made a commitment to myself that I would break 125 tiles per day with the help of my family um, and I would break 125 every day until the tin was done and I was able to do it so I um, did that this week, and so one color is completely done, and my goal, in addition to cleaning one room per day, is to also break the second color. Um, and there are more of those tiles, so it may not be that I can finish the entire tin this week, but this, this coming week, but this past week I was able to finish those tiles by Wednesday night. So I started on Sunday and ended on Wednesday, so I had a couple of days to take a break. So maybe it's possible, we'll see. The third thing that I wanted to do was to uh, decorate a little bit each day for Christmas. And um, I did not get that far. I did not, I think I did three things um, this week, which really was not enough in some ways. In other ways, it was fine. I mean, it's early December and um, things are okay with that. And we anyway prefer to decorate our tree and do the, the nativity set and things like that later in the season. Um, what I did do was I planted paper white bulbs um, and that unexpectedly took me two days to complete because I had to buy the dirt for that and some of the moss um, and round up my pots and things like that. So one day I bought all the stuff that I needed. I had already purchased the paper white bulbs and um, then the second day I actually planted everything. So 
Um, that was a two-day project, which it really shouldn't have been. I mean, it's not that uh, difficult to plant paper white bulbs, but with everything else going on, it was for me. Um, another thing that I did was I put out our little tree that goes in the playroom. It's just a little artificial tree with a bow on top, um, but it took a little time to polish up the champagne bucket that it sits in, which is silver plated. So I polished it up. I was debating whether to leave it tarnished or to leave it, or to polish it. Um, but what I decided to do was sort of somewhere in the middle. I gave it a little polish because it was really streaky and it didn't, it hadn't um, gotten a patina that was very even. It was kind of like streaky and weird. So um, I polished it, but I left some of the darker spots intact. I didn't really give it a good polish. And unfortunately, the champagne bucket is too big to use my foil and baking soda trick. So um, I did have to use elbow grease on that. Um, so that took a little bit longer, but it was kind of fun to do because my husband and I visited while I worked on that. And then assembling the tree inside of the bucket with rocks and things, is it's not that difficult. Um, another thing I did was our letter board. So that was fun. Um, I got a new, not a new quote, it's a quote that I use every December, um, that I first heard watching the Tasha Tudor um, Take Joy movie. Um, it's a Christmas movie that she did, like a documentary. I believe it's on Amazon. So it might be something that you want to look up at this time of year. I do think that I would like to watch it again. It's very um, quaint and sweet. I mean, she definitely had a life that was unique and one that I think very few people would really enjoy living as deeply as she did. But um, her Christmas uh, traditions are beautiful, and I've borrowed several of them over the years. And one of them is putting her quote from Fra Giovanni on our letterboard. So I did that and I think that was basically it. Um, so I had to clean one room per day. I had um, break the 125 tiles each night and I had um, to do one nativity thing per day. The last two were very simple. One was to just do a, at least one load of laundry per day, which I did keep up with. I didn't fold every day, but um, I never do anyway. Um, I sort of save it up um, to do, you know, every two or three days because, you know, you sit down and everybody has to sort their own stuff and put their own things away, and it's just easier if it's, like, all at once. Um, and then the last thing that I was doing trying to do was to catch up on Homemaker Chic podcasts. So I um, have not listened to them since September, which is really sad because I love them. But I have been listening to a lot of audiobooks and sort of was like in that groove and put aside Homemaker Chic podcast for a while. Um, it's definitely worth a listen if you haven't already. Um, so I was 17 episodes behind um, at the beginning of this week on Sunday. And I decided that I was going to try to listen to at least one per day while I did other things. As of tonight, I only have 11 podcasts left. So I did manage to do that. That, The mosaics and the um, podcast listening, I was the most successful in. And I'm really hoping that I can do all five of these things again this coming week so that I can feel like I'm getting things accomplished even if I have to work. Um, as of tonight, I only have to work on Friday which, um, you know, we'll see how it goes. Uh, usually I get called in at least three days per week, um, but you never know. Um, and we have our basketball routine and our son's birthday is already coming up. It's on the 12th, so that's next Sunday. So we, oh, and I forgot, we have St. Nicholas Day. Um, so that is on Monday, so we have, um, those celebrations to look forward to. So once we hit St. Nicholas Day and our son's birthday, the rest of December just whooshes by really fast. So I think when I see you next week, I'll have a lot more to share with you in terms of like our nativity preparations, hopefully. Um, and I'll definitely share with you those mosaic tile breaking because um, it's pretty interesting, the tool that I use. And while it's kind of challenging to squeeze the, the um, little plier thing that breaks the tiles it's really satisfying too um so i'll definitely share that with you next week i hope that you have a great week and i will see you next saturday bye bye
<laughs> Smile. Tell me if you're happy. I'm happy. Wow.